Hi guys, it's Mrs. Alice again. I had a little technology trouble, so I'm back at time again. Um, we are going to dive into a problem that involves knowing how long the event lasts, but um, trying to figure out when it starts. We have an end time and we know how long it lasts, but we need to figure out when did it originally start. So I'm thinking back to my good old days when I was younger and I used to ride my bike everywhere. Um, we lived in a town where the neighborhoods were pretty big so we could get around safely. And so I would often ride my bike to my friend's house. And then we'd go around town and maybe go to the popcorn shop, which was a place that had amazing candy, rows and rows of candy that you could pick out. So I'm thinking back to that specific time when my friends and I would drive, or excuse me, ride our bikes to the popcorn shop. It took us 45 minutes from my house to get there. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what time we need to leave our house in order to get there at a specific time. So we're gonna start with the same strategy we've been using. So I'm going to make my T-chart, two T-charts. The first one is going to be hours. The second one is going to be minutes. Okay, did you catch that? So we have the same chart that we just used in the last video. We have hours and minutes. So I know to get to the popcorn shop, it takes me 45 minutes on our bikes, okay? We arrive to the popcorn shop at 2.29. So 2.29, we arrive to the popcorn shop. And then we think back to ourselves, well, what time did we leave my house to get there. So we're trying to figure out the start time. We know the end time, which is 229. We know how long the bike ride lasted. We're trying to figure out the start time. So now we're going to go backwards. So thinking about 229, I know in my head, I can't go backwards 45 minutes. I definitely will mess it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep subtracting minutes that I'm comfortable subtracting. So I can't just do 29 and then subtract 45 in my head. So I'm going to start with subtracting just 20 minutes. So what time would it have been if we go 20 minutes back in time? So if I do 229 minus the 20, I know it's gonna be 209, okay? So, so far, this kind of looks like an eight. So far, I've used 20 of the 45 minutes. So if I do off to the side, 45 minus 20, I still have 25 minutes that I need to go backwards. So I'm thinking, hmm, if I'm at 209, and I wanna go back 25 minutes, that's gonna be really hard to do in my head. So I know that doing, if I subtract nine minutes, that's gonna get me to the hour mark, to two o'clock. So, so far, I've used 29 minutes. So if I do 45 minus 29, I'm going to have 16 minutes left, then I need to go back. So if I'm at two o'clock and I take away 10 minutes, what time would that be? So two o'clock, go backwards 10 minutes. I know I'm gonna be at 1.50. So I was at 16 minutes, I just used another 10. So I have six minutes left. So I need to go back six more minutes. So if it's 150, and you can use a clock to figure it out, if I go back six minutes, what could it be? Hmm, I don't know guys, I'm kind of stuck. 
So maybe I'll do just five minutes. I know that 50 minus five is gonna be easier. So that would give me 145. I still have one more minute. So I'm gonna take away that one minute and I'm gonna get 144. Now let's go back and make sure we have accounted for all 45 minutes. 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus nine is 39. 39 plus one is 40. And then 40 plus five is 45. So our bike ride lasted for 45 minutes. We got to the popcorn shop at 229 which means we left my house at 144. Let's try one more. Again, I'm gonna stick to my T-chart again. I'm gonna have my hour chart and I'm going to have my minute chart. Now let's do a problem involving school. Since we're not technically at school, we can bring back some memories. So we know school starts at, what time? Eight o'clock. Okay. Now, today's a very special day. School's only going to be one hour and three minutes long. That's a quickie. All right, so what I'm gonna start with is my hour chart first. Do I have any hours that I need to add to the time? We're just looking at the hours. Yes, I have one hour for sure. The school lasted for at least one hour. So I'm going to add one hour to eight o'clock. So one hour past eight is nine o'clock. If I don't have any more hours to add, then we're going to go to the minute chart. So I'm going to take where I left off. I left off at nine o'clock. And now I'm going to add my minute. Now, let's say I don't feel comfortable just adding three right on to nine. So I'm going to break it into chunks. I'm gonna say, hmm, I'm gonna add one minute first. What time would it be in one minute? Well, it would be 9.01. Let's do another minute. What time would it be in one minute? Well, it would be 9.02. I have to do three minutes total. How many have I used so far? One plus one is two. So I have one more minute to figure out the end time. So 9.02 plus one more minute is 9.03. So again, if I know that my start time was at eight o'clock, I know how long we're gonna be at school, an hour and three minutes. I'm going to be able to say that our school today ends at 9.03. I hope this helps you. I talked to Ms. Zalewski and she said um, that she taught this strategy in third grade. So hopefully it is a refresher for you. But if you have any questions, please, please, please email me. We can set up a live time for me to help you out. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope the snow disappears. And I will see you soon. Bye.